Hey everybody, are y'all ready? We got a big day. We got a lot of new parts. We're about to install on the truck. Yep, we're gonna get it ready to haul our truck camper. That's right. We're looking forward to it. Welcome back to Runaway Roses. All right, time to get busy. Gotta get to work. Carla's gonna feed me instructions and I'm gonna do the wrenching. That's how it usually works around here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to bore you guys with a step-by-step -step DIY video, but what we will do is we're going to follow along on, uh, each trailer has a library of really good step-by-step -step videos. We're going to use that as well as the instructions that came with the super hitch. Let's take a closer look at this hitch, uh, just explain to you why uh, we're going to use it, why we decided to use it, and what this hitch is and what it'll do for us. And uh, with this being the super hitch 30,000 pound rated, that is at its maximum level. This hitch uh, is actually rated at the carrying weight, the tongue weight is 2,500 pounds. And if you use weight distribution, it bumps it up to 3,000 pounds. So that, that's a lot. And without weight distribution, the carrying capacity of it is, towing capacity is 20,000 pounds. And with weight distribution, it's 30,000 pounds, which is more than we're gonna be using it for. But the main reason I wanted to get this hitch now is because if we're gonna we gotta set the truck up in order to get the the mounts and uh, didn't want to have to go and change the rear mounts later once we would add this later so figure let's go ahead and put it all on now and the reason is because not only can we use the the super truss um, but if we wanted to use a, just a small extension uh, for a, a lightweight camper we could and then also use a uh, you know the top one for like a bike rack and that sort of thing um you can use it that way for accessories as well as a trailer or if we need the the load capacity carrying capacity of adding a super truss we can do that so um we have a 36 inch super truss uh so we can we can add that as well as we have our original uh 41 and 48 inch extension this one is a two and a half inch tube and the super truss it goes down to a two inch on the bottom and top tube so if we wanted to just use the lighter weight trailer and our old extension we could do that because this is a two and a half uh, receiver on the top of this hitch so we have that option. I wanted to go back to the two and a half versus the, the four and three inch, which is great, super strong. Um, but the two inch and two and a half inch is more universal with most trailer hitches and accessory racks and that sort of thing. That sort of thing. So that's why we're gonna use the super hitch on our truck. And uh, it's gonna give us a lot more options of how we wanna use it and what we wanna tow. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get busy. We're gonna install the rear hitch first because we need to have the hitch on in order to install the rear bracket. So we're gonna do all that and the rear brackets will kind of go on at the same time. And after we get that done, we'll go ahead and move to the front brackets and tackle those. And hopefully we can put the camper on by the end of the day. factory hitch it's pretty heavy duty itself here's the specs on the factory hitch it's power need a bigger wrench never have the right tools but yeah it's so tight my Air tool doesn't even want to take it off. Need a bigger air tool. Yeah. Need a bigger air compressor. <laughs> okay, now for the fun part. Now that we got the factory hitch off the truck, we're going to weigh the two and compare them. So we're going to first start out with the super hitch. We're going to put the hitch on there and then I'm going to put the brackets on there to find out what it'll weigh all together. So here goes the hitch on the scale. Looks like about 68 pounds. So that's the hitch, 68 pounds, super truss. Let's add 
This box is all the the hardware, all the steel plates that go on the side to mount it. So just weigh the whole box. It's heavy as well. It's 60 pounds. So there you go. 128 pounds for that hitch. Plus some hardware. So here's the the factory hitch, it's big. Of course, it's all one piece. But uh, this thing is heavy too. Very heavy. At least it feels heavy. It's heavier. You have to kind of balance it. It's right at 80 pounds. So I guess, sum it up, I guess after we add that hitch, We'll be adding about an extra 45 pounds to the truck over the stock hitch. Not too bad for such a super heavy duty hitch that's uh, got two receivers on it. So pretty cool. Now let's get the, to the install super hitch. These side mounts, they're super heavy duty. Just pulled them out of the box. I was just measuring them here with my old school calipers here. And that steel is 5 16 so some pretty thick steel right there. Some heavy plates. Plus we, we also weighed the box with the hardware and it's another 10 pounds. So probably about a 55 pound difference between the two hitches. All right, let's go ahead and get these side plates on. Well, what do you think? How's it going? It's going pretty good. It seems relatively easy other than wrenching all the bolts off. Oh boy, the bolts are super tight. Yeah. But uh, it's looking good, we're getting there. Got it in place, now we just need to snug it up and... Put the brackets on. Yeah, put the frame mount brackets. Okay, uh, now that we have the hitch on the back of the truck, it is still just loose. So we're gonna go ahead and mount up the rear frame mounts. And uh, they're super easy, they just slide in. These uh, Talon torque lift uh, rear frame mounts, the mount is stainless steel, and the arm that slides in it is aluminum. And uh, per the instructions, they just go with the bracket facing forward. And then just like the, the rear of the hitch, you just run the bolts through there, tie it down. And uh, so that part's just super easy. You do want to make sure that the holes are horizontal so that when you slide the, the, the end in, you can actually put your... Uh, your pin through there and then tie it down so that make sure that the arm is in the right position to tie down the camper. So just want to make sure of that because you can actually put this in different positions but according to the instructions it goes like this. So we're going to go ahead and get everything tightened down, get the torque specs out, tighten the hitch down and move on to the front frame mounts. bracing there, tying it into the factory frame. Yeah. All right, time to torque it down. Put the glasses back on. I'm going in. 100 foot pounds if I can get my wrench in there. just had an accident and we have to go inside to see how bad it is <laughs> it's not that bad it is you he like just, split his forehead open with a one of those a wrench ratchet things uh, yeah the torque wrench the thing came off and uh flipped down hit me in the forehead cut it up in there it's not but stop bleeding there can you see it's stop bleeding but it's you see what do you think that looks pretty bad it's like a big gash uh. I think put a band-aid on it. No. All right, we're gonna go in, clean it up. The doc says we gotta go clean it before we finish torquing everything down. So put a band-aid on it. Carla thinks I need stitches, but 
It's all good. We'll put the, we'll, we'll duck it. Put some duct tape on it. No. Well, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I mean, it's bad, but I don't think he needs stitches. Yeah, it's all right. Just a little band-aid. Still bleeding though. Yeah, still bleeding. It's all right. We're back in business. Got to finish up. Not too bad of a project. Most people could do it. If you're willing to get in there and do some wrenching. You might need to wear pads around your head so you don't want ratchets on. Wear a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> this is Taylor's truck. Taylor's going to help. It's her new favorite truck. It's Taylor's truck. All right, that's it. Yep. I got the super hitch put on. You know, a little bit of blood and a little bit of elbow grease and went right on. Yeah, and we got the brackets on too. Yeah, the rear brackets are on, so now all we got to do is go put the front brackets on. So, hadn't been too bad, just, uh, you know. Other than bleeding a little bit. Yeah, not a big deal. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to get busy. Final step to the install. Put a couple of cotter pins in there. Yeah, and it always have... I'm always kind of scared of these things. I always feel like I'm going to get pinched. So. If you just take it. Okay, there you like go. Because sometimes if you take the palm of your hand, you can kind of push the end of that cotter pin in without pinching yourself. I like that. Like yeah, that. There you go. Perfect. Did it. Now come on around to the to the talons, talon mounts. Talon. That sounds bad. <laughs> You don't really know where they Super are. easy. You just slide it in. You got two, two slots in there. Um, slide it in. Put the, the pan in there. Lock it in. And they're all set. What are these things? These go on, oh, these are caps for them when they're not being used, aren't they? That's right. Yeah, you can cap them off. You got caps, you can cap them off. We're not going to use those. Right now. Keep the dirt out. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready to install the brackets uh, on the front for the camper tie downs. Front frame mounts. Front frame mounts. Yeah. They're talon, so they're just like the ones that we installed on the rear, but they're, they're for the front. Yeah. I guess this part's aluminum, this part's steel. That's right, stainless steel. It's just coated, powder coated, so make them last a little longer. So. If you live up in the in the north where you get a lot of salt and things rust, then the talons would definitely be the way to go. Uh, keep them from rusting. And, and I counted uh, all the parts to make sure it was off. Yeah, everything's there, ready yeah. to go. We, we couldn't find a video on it, so we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Read the instructions. Or read the instructions. And uh, look at the pictures. <laughs> okay, we're on the home stretch. We just got done putting the frame out on the passenger side because that's what the instructions had to do first. Yeah, it didn't go as smoothly as we thought it was going to, but it we got it done. But now that we got it figured out, this side should go a whole lot easier, I think. So yeah. So uh, about to dive into that and be done. We're both getting tired and worn out and kind of weary. Yeah, it's been a long day. Been working on the truck all day long, <laughs> but let's get this thing done. Okay. Assembly on there. Feed it up through. I said to leave that one loose there for a minute. Yep, I'm just start. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Here's a quick little tip for you. So if you if you're installing one of these and you've ran the bolt up through the frame like you have to do, and I've already got my flat washer, lock washer on there, and before I take this feed wire off, 
got to be uh, real careful because once you take it off, there's a risk of that bolt falling, falling, falling back inside the frame. And uh, if that happens, it's a really bad day trying to get it out most likely. So I'm just going to run the zip tie around that bolt. Try to get it, hold it out as far as, as far as I can. Run a zip tie around it so that I can take the feed wire off and then that way it'll keep the bolt from falling in and then I can put the nut on the end of the bolt. Much safer than Without having to worry about it. Falling. Yeah, without, yeah, without it falling back in the frame. And then just snip off the, the zip tie. Little sacrificial zip tie. And uh, there you go. It works. It's okay. good tip. Yep. Got to get everything tightened down. Got the other two here on, and uh, I'm try to get the third one on up top and uh, tighten it down. Well, it's been a couple days since we installed the brackets, but uh, we're gonna walk around just take a look at what we've done so far. And uh, the install so far has gone pretty smoothly. It's, it is quite a bit of work to do the hitch and the brackets all in one day. And uh, it takes a little longer to try to film as well, but um, let's take a look at that. So here's uh, here's the brackets that we put on. This is actually um, part of the extension that goes on it. But the bracket itself is connected to the frame here, as Todd will show you in just a second. Yeah. Those are light as well, too. Yeah, these extension. are really light. Yeah. And this is actually what the camper attaches to. Yeah. It's the aluminum bracket with the stainless steel mount. So, they're real easy to take on and off. Yeah. Other yeah. than the little <laughs> latch there, it's kind of tight. Yeah, it's tight because it's new. Good. Here's the back one. Same thing on the back. Same thing on the back, and as you saw before when we were recording, the, um, this is actually attached to the hitch. There's the hitch. Let's take a look at the hitch here. So there it is from the back. And then we can take those ends off if we want to, but most of the time I just leave them on there. So we'll get uh, in more in depth with that hitch and what we can do with it later. So got the other side done as well. All right, we got the brackets on, we got the super hitch on, and we're ready to take it camping. But we're not going camping this weekend, unfortunately. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna try it out. We're gonna load the camper up onto the truck and take it first in. There's the lance on the truck, bone stock suspension. It uh, doesn't look too bad. It is a little low in the back. And back in, it's kind of low because of the staircase hanging down. The staircase being the lowest point there. All right, we got it on. Let's go take a spin. Yeah, so far the truck feels great. Uh, there's really, there's a little bit of sway in there, but uh, not too bad, not like our old Ram 3500 where it did not have any overload springs. So the truck's riding great. The, the frame mounts are, are working great. And no squeak or anything, everything's solid and tight and uh, we're thrilled. Yeah, to be clear, this is our first time with the camper on the truck driving down the road. That's so. right. So we're testing out for the first time with you guys. Yeah, this is a full experience right here. All right, well, there you see it. 
the campers on the truck we got the frame mounts on and the torque lift frame mounts are working great we took the camper and truck for a spin worked it super solid no squeaks and uh, we're thrilled with the uh, with the frame mounts yep we also got the super hitch on as you guys may have seen uh, we're, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a later video, but we'd also like to say thank you to Torque Lift for sending us everything that you saw us install in this video. And if you're interested in any of it, we'll put links below the video to those things. That's right. Torque Lift has uh, all the products that you need if you're going to install a truck camper on a truck. So that's where you want to look, whether it's uh, suspension enhancements to frame mounts to turnbuckles to hitches and all that sort of thing. So. If you're looking for uh, hooking up a truck camper on your truck, uh, check out Torque Lift. And uh, we appreciate you hanging around, watching the video, and we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.